Every season, you probably find that one youngster in football who blows everybody away and looks like the next big thing. Unfortunately, most of these guys don't live up to expectations. Sometimes, they even fizzle away completely. Take, for example, Ricky Pooch. After he made his debut for Barcelona in 2018, you would have thought that he would be the future of Barcelona. But sadly, things haven't gone as planned. From the numerous coaching changes at Barcelona to the club's struggles on and off the field, Pooch didn't have the right environment to grow the way he would have wanted. And over time, his career suffered for it and he failed to improve the way he was expected to. To make things worse, he also saw the likes of Gavi and Pedri overtake him in the pecking order, which forced him to make the move away to LA Galaxy in the MLS. Now, not to write him off, but most players who make that move away from Europe at a young age usually don't come back. So, it would be pretty surprising to see if Pooch somehow lives up to that previous hype to become one of the best in the world. Now, the story is not so different from that of this other guy, Carlos Elena. You see, the story of Elena is one of a guy who made his senior debut for Barcelona in 2016 at the age of 18, where he also scored the equaliser to announce his arrival. A few months later, he would then be rewarded with a new contract with a massive release clause. Now, the way this story usually goes, you would expect that guy to become one of the biggest stars in the team. But this wasn't the case for Elena, because after signing that contract, he was never really good enough to cement a starting spot. And by the summer of the age of 20, he was sent on loan to Raul Betis. And by the next season, he was off to Getafe. Now, we can't really say it's over for Elena, because unlike Puj, he chose to remain in the La Liga. He just might have a chance to live up to his potential. And who knows, he might even play for Barcelona again. But one former highly rated talent who'd never have the chance to play for Barcelona again is Bojan Kerkic. Oh, of course, you remember him. After starring for Spain in the 2017 Under-17 World Cup, he continued his fine form that year as he made his debut for Barcelona. In his first season for the club, he scored 10 goals, making many believe that he would be as good as Messi. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, and he turned out to be nowhere near Messi. Over the next few years, he never really made his mark at Barcelona, and eventually he left the club for Roma in 2011. He would then go on to play for various other clubs, and finally retired at the age of 33. Okay, at this point, the title of this video might as well be A List of Barcelona Wonder Kids Who Crashed and Burned. Because the next guy is yet another former Barcelona youngster. I'm talking about Giovanni Dos Santos. You see, this guy was believed to be the next Ronaldinho. But in the end, the only thing they really had in common was playing for Barcelona. He never really got the chance to show what he could do at Barcelona, and he left the club to join Spurs in 2008. He would then play for various clubs around Europe, and in 2021, he finally retired at Mexican side Club America, bringing an end to a fairly underwhelming career. You might be sick of hearing about Barca youngsters, that's why we bought you another former Barcelona player. But here's the thing, he never actually played for Barcelona. Yeah, that's right. His name is Alen Halilovic. You see, in 2014, Barcelona signed him from Dinamo Zagreb, and he was even tagged the Croatian Arjun Robben. But, well, fans of the club never actually got to see why he was called that, because he never actually played for the senior team before being sold two years later. Since then, he's played for about 10 different clubs, and he currently plays for Fortuna Sittard in the Dutch League. So, well, guess it's safe to say that he was nothing like Arjun Robben. He is someone who actually played for his club's senior team before he fizzled out. Emil Smith Rowe. You see, when he made his debut, he was considered one of the best products of the Arsenal Academy. Between 2019 and 2022, he even formed solid partnerships with Saka, Martinelli and Odegaard as the club underwent a massive rebuild and became one of the best in the league. Unfortunately, at the start of last season, he had an injury and needed surgery which kept him away for most of the season. And since his return, he just seems to have been forgotten by the Arsenal coach Mikel Arteta. And let's face it, Arsenal have loads of talent in the midfield and attack at the moment, so it was always going to be quite difficult for him to force his way back into the team. Hopefully, he gets a chance to prove himself soon, because you got to admit, this guy is a huge talent. And just like Smith Rowe, another player whose development has been slowed down by injuries is Ansu Fati. 
Now, just so you know how good he was as a teenager, he made his debut for Barcelona at the age of 16 and scored 13 goals in his first season. Pretty impressive, right? But sadly, his injury problems began soon after, and things have pretty much gone downhill from there. And every time he makes a return from an injury, he just seems to get injured again in a short while. Well, those struggles with injuries didn't do him any good and he failed to tie down a regular place at Barcelona. And with the quality of attacking options at the club earlier this season, it became clear that there was no place for him this season and he needed to move away from the club. Well, now he's on loan at Brighton, which is probably one of the best clubs for youngsters to grow at this point. So you probably wouldn't be wrong to say that he still has a good chance to recover and become world class in the future. Now, you know, Arsenal had Smith Rowe when they were struggling and Barcelona had Ansu Fati. Well, Man United also had a youngster who helped them when they were struggling. And you probably remember that guy, Adnan Yanazai. Yes, same guy. You see, on his Manchester United debut in 2013, this guy scored a brace. He would also make a total of 38 appearances that season, which was pretty impressive for a teenager. So, it's no surprise that most people expected him to be the next big star for the club. Sadly, all the hype and momentum fizzled out, and over the next few years, he was sent on multiple loan spells before finally leaving the club permanently. These days, he plays for Real Sociedad, and at 28 years of age, it's not looking like he'll be turning into player of the year material anytime soon. Of course, these aren't the only players who failed to live up to their full potential. You probably know of others, so go ahead, tell us some of them in the comments section. But before that, do give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, hit the subscribe button to get more cool videos like this. We'll catch you next time. Bye.